Halloween, a hospital near Canton is reportedly haunted and now some say it's becoming a hazard because teenagers, vandals and ghost hunters are breaking into the Molly Stark Hospital. The Canton Repository says there's so much airborne asbestos that no one should go inside without a respirator. New ways of resting the lung have been developed. This patient is getting pneumothorax treatment. Air is let into the chest cavity and that rests the lung so that it can heal. When the diseased lung is fully healed, it is allowed to expand again. A lifesaver for many. <coughs> in this sanatorium, as in many others, children of tuberculous parents who cannot be properly protected otherwise are cared for in the special department of the sanatorium. What is up, spooky people? Welcome to another episode of Oddity Acres. Today we find ourselves in Louisville, Ohio, and we are sitting on the grounds and checking out the Molly Stark Sanatorium. Now, Molly Stark Sanatorium opened up on August 23rd, 1929. It's one of 25 tuberculosis hospitals in the state of Ohio. So at the time on the grounds, there was also a children's hospital, a superintendent's residence, a nurse's home, and a power plant. During the 1930s, tuberculosis was running rampant. You know, as a respiratory disease, it was also called consumption because it took over your lungs at first and then your body just started to whittle away to nothing. I mean, you it was basically a death sentence uh, at the time when we didn't have the cures and the medical um, you know, improvements that we have today. That's why a lot of sadness and despair and, and you know, a somber feeling comes when you see buildings like this. I mean, you've no doubt only heard about Waverly Hills Sanatorium and you know various places around the country that are known to be haunted. And it's because of all of the horrific things that happened because of this disease. It was the white plague. Now, fortunately, there were medical advances and people did find a cure for this. And, and so these hospitals were, were less and less needed as we got into the 50s. Um, and this place at that time was renamed from Molly Stark Sanatorium to Molly Stark Hospital. The last tuberculosis patients that were in this building were actually treated up until the 70s uh, when the last patient left and this became a nursing home. Before medical advances, you know, they, they thought that fresh air and being outside um, were, the, were the proper ways to treat tuberculosis. Getting fresh air into the lungs, you know, getting fresh air into the body. Um, even during the wintertime, they had people outside in beds just trying to get, um, you know, fresh air into their lungs. The way that Molly Stark Hospital worked is when, um, you know, it, the sickest of the sick people would be on the fourth floor, um, you know, getting their fresh air. And as you got better, they would move you down level by level by level um, to where the most active and people that could stand um, were on the bottom floor um, in the main courtyard area. So the sanatorium has been a lot of different things. It wasn't just a tuberculosis hospital. It was also just a regular hospital going into the 50s and 60s and 70s. Um, it was an old folks home uh, for the elderly. And then after that, in the more recent history, um, it was a drug and alcohol um, place where people could come, a rehab of sorts, that people could come and do their meetings and that kind of stuff. And then when that kind of closed down because of the condition of the hospital and the updated uh, things that they needed to get taken care of. Um, it actually just became a records holding place for the sheriff's department. And that's where a lot of the ghost stories and, um, and craziness comes from because you've had these, these police officers that are getting firsthand accounts of what's going on when they're in that building at night, going through records and things like that. There's been numerous reports of, um, you know, people that have seen apparitions, faces in windows, um, lights being turned on and off, 
Um, the surrounding neighbors here have said and reported to police um, over the time that they, they saw lights being on in the windows here long after power was cut to the building. Um, you know, there's been reports, um, especially from some of those police officers that were in the building, um, the elevators just don't stop. They run up and down the floors all day long, all night long. Um, you know, names being called when no one else is in the building. Um, there was actually a story about a cleanup crew that was in here and they heard on the floor above them one of the metal beds from the, the patients being drug across the floor. And they went up to investigate and nobody was there and everybody in their group was accounted for. So just stories like that that, you know, I think follow places like this, obviously, but I mean, there, there was a lot of sadness and, and sickness and disease. And not only that, but I guess people that were in rehab and that kind of stuff, I mean, that those feelings kind of travel along with you, um, you know, especially in the, the, the lower part of their life, the, the rock bottom that those people were hitting. So it's always constantly been a place of, well, despair and, and sadness and seeking something better for their life, whether it be to heal from tuberculosis or get over drug addiction or, you know, those kind of things. So, um, you know, I think that energy that is brought stays as ominous and strange as it is. It's oddly beautiful. Like it's got very weird characteristics that just make it stand out between the vines and the, the architecture and the windows and the, even the windows that are broken. It just, it definitely has that feel about it. Back in 2001, a sheriff inspector, his name was Steve Reddy, was spending the night here uh, doing some sort of late night paperwork and his story was absolutely insane. I was sitting at my desk doing my work and a voice said to me, Steve. And I said, yeah, and there was no response. I looked up and no one was there. I didn't recognize the voice, it was just so off the cuff. And then of course, you get up and scurry to the hall to see if anybody is there, and I was alone. It sent chills up my spine, and needless to say, I gathered up my things that night and left. So right now, I am standing outside of the Children's Hospital section of Molly Stark Sanatorium. Check this out. So obviously the main building is really locked up. Um, you know, there's fencing around it. I guess the asbestos and that kind of stuff is really just bad in there. This is the children's hospital. Um, it's, it's really bad in here too, as I can, you know, I've been showing you. It is just so incredibly eerie. So if you check it out online and you kind of read about uh, some of the articles that they posted about this place behind me, this is, um, you know, the, the children's ward. And this is where they catch a lot of EVPs of children playing and laughing, um, a lot of knocks, a lot of apparitions, things like that. It, it's certainly weird to stand in front of this place. I mean, you can definitely feel a tightness in your chest um, and the history behind it. I mean, putting yourself back in the 30s when, when a disease was coming through that there was no cure to, I mean... Not only is that scary, you know, it, it, it puts you in a mindset of like, maybe I don't go home tomorrow. You know, they were, they were taking people out of their houses. There were cities that were basically forcing quarantine on people, pulling them up from their houses, putting them in sanatoriums like this against their will, you know, just to try to contain this disease, which didn't work, you know, and it's, it's just crazy to think about. Found a door that's open. Check this out. Wow.
This is so crazy in here. Like, everything's just falling apart. I don't know if you can see as well with the camera. Wow. This is nuts in here. I did not think I was gonna be able to get inside of this place. But this is the children's hospital. Wow. Wow, it feels so heavy in here. There's certainly a lot of energy, particularly here too, because these kids in here, some of them had tuberculosis. And I think that they even had kids here that were missing their parents because their parents had tuberculosis, you know? So I know I talk about this a lot in a lot of my vlogs. And when I go places, I say, I feel something like that. Again, I'm, I'm not in any way trying to say that I'm a medium or that I, I know, or I can talk to spirits, but I, I'm, I do feel like I'm in tune just a little bit to, to my surroundings. I think that everybody is. I think it's engraved in you. I mean, back to where when cavemen, they had that little tingle in the back of their, their neck because they were being hunted. And, and we're not being hunted anymore, but we have that sixth sense still. And I think that if you apply it to where you are, you know, Molly Stark Sanatorium. There's always going to be so much local lore and legend here. And exploring it for the first time and seeing it with my own eyes, this is absolutely incredible. It's so, so cool to check out and see the architecture and really just think about what was going on in the 30s? You know, thinking about the tuberculosis outbreak and just putting myself in that situation and my, that, that time of, of, of the world where, you know, you, if you caught a disease, it was a death sentence, you know? I mean, we're so fortunate to have the medical advances we do now because, I mean, that's scary to think about. And, you know, thinking about the crude ways that they were trying to treat tuberculosis, either, you know, hydro shock therapy and, I mean, just... You know, they, they would take out lungs and deflate lungs to let them heal and have a glass lung inside. I mean, just absolutely just barbaric things that they thought healed tuberculosis. And it's just a vaccine at this point, you know? I mean, that's crazy. Just crazy. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out another episode of Oddity Acres. Thank you guys for exploring the Molly Stark Sanatorium with me. Thank you guys for exploring the children's ward of the Molly Stark Sanatorium with me. I really appreciate it. If you guys get a chance to come down here and check it out, it is awesome. Very cool to check out. Take a walk around the building. Admire the architecture. Say hi to the ghosts. All that good stuff. Until next time, stay scared. Happy Halloween.